The Israel Defense Forces said on October 13 that their infantry and tanks entered the Gaza Strip in a local attack in a campaign to respond to Hamas rescuing hostages. After the local raid, Israeli forces returned to the border. This is said to be the beginning of a larger-scale Israeli ground attack campaign against the Gaza Strip. Main battle tanks are formidable land-based weapons from an integral part of the IDF defense strategy, symbolizing both deterrent power and strategic military assets in wars. Israel's armor corps, established in the early years of the state in 1948, emerged as an important part of the Israeli army. Initially created to meet the urgent need for armor capabilities during Israel's war of independence, it quickly developed into a formidable force demonstrated by its proficiency in combat. Central to the effectiveness of the armor corps lies in the widespread deployment of main battle tanks, which are the backbone of its operational capabilities. Over the years, Israel has developed and put into use many advanced tank models, including the iconic Merkava series, etc., famous for its innovative design and exceptional defense capabilities. The armor corps is organized into multiple brigades built to accomplish specific operational objectives. These brigades are strategically deployed to carry out a variety of scenarios from armor assaults to defensive maneuvers. Israel's commitment to innovation and military technological superiority is evident in its diverse tank inventory, tailored to address a variety of operational requirements. Integration of the latest military technology and continuous upgrades have ensured that the armor corps remains at the forefront of armor warfare, helping Israel counter evolving threats. Israel recently announced the transfer of initial product models of the fifth generation main battle tank Merkava 5 Barak to units in the Israeli Defense Forces. According to a statement by the Israeli Ministry of Defense on September 19, 2023, the first batch of tanks described as mass produced were delivered to the 52nd Battalion of the 401st Armor Brigade. This achievement comes after half a decade of production and development activities by the Weapon Department of Ground Forces and the Israeli Armor Corps, along with domestic defense companies such as LB Systems, Israel Aerospace, etc. Israeli Defense Minister Joaf Galen noted, The Barak tank is innovative. It takes our mobility to a new level and is a clear demonstration of our technological capabilities. The Merkava 5 is an improved version of the Merkava 4 that integrates the latest technologies and innovation in protection and digital combat capabilities. One of the most important improvements of the Merkava 5 is the integration of the Chofi Active Protection System designed to counter the most advanced anti-tank missiles, rocket propelled grenades, anti-tank rockets, and high-explosive anti-tank rounds. The Barak is expected to replace all Merkava 4 tanks in the 401st Brigade by the end of 2025. The Merkava Mark IV Mir Ruach or Merkava Mark IV M, with the affectionate nickname 
Windbreaker, the merit of a Mark 4M, embodies a significant leap forward in the combat capabilities of the armor forces. It represents an enhanced version of the prized Merkava Mark IV tank, demonstrating pioneering innovations in military engineering as it features the Trophy Active Protection System. Mass production of the Mark IV-M tanks began in 2009, and the first whole brigade of Mark IV-M's was declared operational in 2011. The Merkava Mark IV MBT. The tank began development in 1999 and production in 2004. Removable modular armor from the Merkava Mark III D is used on all sides, including the top and a V shaped barely armor pack for the underside. This modular system is designed to allow damaged tanks to be rapidly repaired and return to the field. Because rear armor is thinner, chains with iron bars are attached to detonate projectiles before they hit the main armor hull. Merkava Mark IV is the first contemporary tank without a loader's hatch in the turret roof because any aperture in the turret roof increases risk of penetration by ATGMs. Tank rounds are stored in individual fireproof canisters, which reduce the chance of cook-off in a fire inside the tank. Some features, such as hull shaping, exterior non-reflect pens, and shielding for ancient head plumps, mixing with outside air to confuse enemy thermal emissions. Israel operates about 330 Mark IVs and Mark IV Ms, and about 220 are in reserve. The Merkava Mark III version staying true to its traditions. The Mark III remains an integral part of the IDF's ammo course alongside the Merkava Mark IV. Notable is a special front-mounted engine designed to improve crew safety. At the forefront of key engagements, Merkava III proved indispensable in South Lebanon conflict, the Second Intifada, the 2006 Lebanon War, the 2014 Operation Protective Edge. In June 2023, local Israeli news agencies reported on the possibility of selling this man by the tank to two undisclosed countries, according to an Israeli Defense Ministry officer. Currently, 160 are in ground force service, and about 660 are in reserve. In addition, Israel also owns older versions of the Merkava, such as Mark II, Mark I, and even the Mark X-7C, a tank line based on the American M48 and M60 tanks. According to reputable media, Israel possesses a formidable arsenal of tanks, with more than 2,200 tanks, of which 1,760 are ready for combat leading the way in Israel Defense Forces armor capabilities is the highly regarded Merkava line, which includes Model 2, 3, and 4. <laughs>